Hey guys, Diver Don here. Welcome to my second Uperlite video. I'm giving away these six Uperlites as part of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Recently, I passed that 10,000 subscriber milestone, and so as a way to say thank you to my subscribers, I'm going to give away these Uperlites along with a keychain light and safety glasses. More about that at the end of the video. I'm also going to try and clear the air a little bit about UV lights that you need to hunt for these stones. Here I have three UV flashlights. The one on the left has 50 395 nanometer UV LEDs. I know it's a mouthful, but that's kind of important. You'll know more in a moment. It's very bright, but I still prefer the one next to it for a couple of reasons. Uh, in the middle, we have the Unique Fire 1408. This UV flashlight has three 365 nanometer UV LEDs. And as you'll see, it will highlight the sodalite in the stone much better. Next is the Convoy S2. It also operates at 365 nanometers. However, it uses a single yet powerful UV LED. One last note about the lights. The large light here uses six AA batteries. If you end up getting one of these, uh, the batteries may actually end up costing you more than the light during the first, you know, season of hunting for lights, depending, of course, on how often you go looking. Uh, the nice side of that, though, is that they can be found just about anywhere. Both the Convoy and the Unique Fire use the rechargeable 18650 battery. The Convoy came with an 18650 battery. It also came with the filter, which helps block out all but the correct wavelength, 365 nanometer. Uh, UV light. Uh, the Unique Fire doesn't come with the rechargeable battery or charger like the Convoy did, but it gives you instead two options. You can use an 18650 inside this little sleeve that's provided, or you can get the um, more robust, uh, longer lasting 26650 rechargeable battery and use, uh, use that instead. Again, another reason why I, I like the Unique Fire is um, the option to use you know, a longer lasting battery. And, you know, these batteries, you can get 500 uses out of them, 500 charges. And the cost difference would be considerable if you actually use that light as much as you used either of these lights. Now, I mentioned the Convoy came with a filter that helped pass only the correct UV light. The Unique Fire does not. However, I was able to find them on eBay fairly cheaply. This one ran a couple of bucks. You can get them for whatever light you want. Now I'll dim the lights and start with the convoy. As you can see, the sodalite looks a bright orange, only the sodalite is visible, uh, with the exception of this halo right here, which is why I actually prefer uh, this light, the Unique Fire uh, 1408. Um, notice that it also makes the sodalite look bright orange, but there is no halo. Uh, I believe that the three LEDs in this light broadcast a little more evenly than the single, more powerful one in the Convoy. Just my personal preference. The least expensive of the three is this 50 LED light. It's plenty bright, uh, but because the 395 nanometer LEDs operate at a wavelength so close to the visible spectrum, we see a lot of blue or purple color that, to me, masks the soda light. From here on out, I'll only be using my two Unique Fire 1408 lights. This Uper light looks green and orange with 365 nanometer LEDs. Uh, however, if I was using the other light, it would all look purple. Um, even with UV safety glasses, the green is muted, so I'll be sticking with uh, 365 nanometer UV LEDs when displaying or photographing Uper lights. This is one of my favorite Uper lights. I brought it to my friend, Eric Rintemecki. This is the gentleman who recently found these stones on the shore of Lake Superior and coined them Uper lights. He's been making spheres out of select Uper lights and I suspect this one would be a good candidate. I'm hoping these veins are retained in the process. It has soda light throughout, so I think it'll look good when he gets done with it. If you're not familiar, here are a few of his pieces. I won't do this to very many of my Uperlites, but a few. If you missed my first Uperlite video, the one where I look for Uperlites while scuba diving, there will be a link coming up shortly. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do so now and click the notification bell. That way you know when I upload new content. Besides, you can't enter for the free Uperlites if you're not a subscriber. 
To enter the drawing for the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber who lives in the United States and need to leave a comment below. Anything will do. Let me know where you live, maybe how you found my video. Uh, the contest ends February 24th, so if you're watching this after that date, I'm afraid you missed out. After the 24th, I will randomly draw comments and post the winners in a future video. I will be offering some of my better stones for sale, so keep an eye on my channel and find out how you can own some of my Lake Superior treasures. I'm also giving away a dive light made by Orca Torch. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link to it here. Uh, there will also be more information in the comments section below about that particular giveaway, also ending February 24th. So if you liked the video, leave a like, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, and dive safe.